Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Now everyone is going out for activities one after another. My husband once again reminds everyone to protect themselves when socializing. So you might remember from a few videos ago, we talked about the coronavirus outbreak in our county,、mm -hmm. and you can read about your own county. In if you go to the website New York Times coronavirus outbreak, and then put in the name of your county in the United States,、mm -hmm. that way you have a local numbers、mm -hmm. for the new cases and hospitalizations in your area.、Mm -hmm. So back、um, a few weeks ago, these were our numbers. For the newly reported cases in the last 14 days, hospitalized in the last 14 days, those who tested positive in the last 14 days,、mm -hmm. and then the vaccination numbers in our county.、Mm -hmm. And back in late June, the numbers for new cases had gone down a lot. Hospitalized had gone down a little bit.、Mm -hmm. Then last week, we saw that the number of cases per day was down, but the hospitalized was up,、mm -hmm. and that was a little bit concerning.、Yeah. But we went ahead and、uh, did some things out in the community.、Mm -hmm. The percent of people who tested positive stayed the same. Mm -hmm. Now here on July ninth, the report for yesterday、mm -hmm. is that the number of newly reported cases、mm -hmm. went from twenty three per day last week to one hundred seventy seven per day this week.、Mm -hmm. That's very bad.、Yeah. The rate of newly reported cases went up、wow. by five hundred thirty four percent. That's very bad. Yeah. Very bad. That's because that's very probably because of the Delta variant,、mm -hmm. which is more contagious,、yeah. and more people doing things in the community, going to restaurants and going to movies,、mm -hmm. especially when they themselves are not vaccinated. Yeah. The number of vaccinations、mm -hmm. over the last. Uh, a few weeks only went up slightly.、Mm -hmm. For all ages, it went from thirty-eight percent to forty. For those over eighteen, forty-nine to fifty-one,、mm -hmm. and for the elderly people, seventy-one to seventy-two percent is not going up by very much.、Wow. So this is all pretty concerning.、Mm -hmm. So now I want to talk about. How I think about what to do,、uh, how I will go about operating in the community,、mm -hmm. how I make decisions on one situation versus another.、Mm -hmm. If you take a simple black and white view, it's dangerous to go out,、mm -hmm. or it's safe to go out.、Mm -hmm. You will not be taking into account all of the different variables. That you can control and those that you cannot control.、Yeah. So I want to talk about how I think about、yeah. what I do outside of the house、mm -hmm. every day. Okay, perfect. Okay, so in thinking about what I want to do in the community, I think about all of these different variables, all of these different、uh, areas of decision.、Mm -hmm. And there are things that you cannot control,、mm -hmm. and there are things that you can control.、Mm -hmm. And so I want to talk about all of those at once,、mm -hmm. and how I use those to make decisions about what I will do next.、Mm -hmm. So for each of these different variables,、mm -hmm. there is high risk, middle risk, and low risk.、Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about the new case rate. That's that number I said a moment ago has gone up by five hundred thirty-four percent in just the last week.
back at the very beginning of the pandemic here in the United States, back in February of 2020, mm -hmm. we had a few cases here in the United States. Mm. And so the new case rate was so low mm. that your risk was very, very low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then if you move to six months ago, January of 2021, mm. our new case rate all across the country was skyrocketing. Mm. People were getting sick at a very rapid rate. People were getting infected and people were getting sick and people were getting hospitalized. At that point, we were in a very high risk situation. Mm -hmm. uh, now, today in July of 2021, although the new case rate has gone up very rapidly this last week, we are still in a situation of middle risk. Mm -hmm. Although the rate has gone up, our total number of cases is still not nearly as high as it was last January. And so the risk in the community, the number of people who might be infected, is middle risk. Mm -hmm. Then if we talk about issue, an issue that you can control, mm -hmm. That's your vaccination. Mm -hmm. So if you have not had any vaccination, you are not at all protected by vaccination. When you get dose number one, you have reduced your risk to a middle risk. Yeah. That's a big jump from no protection to going down to middle risk with just one dose. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's for the two-dose vaccines, the Pfizer and Moderna. Mm -hmm. For those vaccines, when you take your second dose, you have reduced your risk way down to the low-risk category. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're taking a one-shot vaccine, mm -hmm. like the Johnson & Johnson, mm -hmm. then you have reduced, in just one dose, you have reduced yourself down to the low-risk category. So this is something important that you can control. Mm -hmm. Another issue that you cannot control is whether others are vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So whether are others vaccinated in your area? Mm -hmm. For instance, when you go to the store, you cannot control whether others uh, are vaccinated. Yeah. When you go to a restaurant, you cannot control whether others are vaccinated. Here in our county, 51% of all of the adults are vaccinated. Oh, yeah. So that has lowered our risk some to about a middle risk. Mm -hmm. If we can get 70% in our community vaccinated, mm -hmm. then we will be way down here into the area of low risk mm -hmm. and at somewhere around 80 or 85 percent vaccinated yeah. we reach what is called herd immunity and it is almost impossible for an infection to get to you because all the people around you almost all the people around you are protected by vaccination so if we could get down into this category by getting enough people vaccinated, mm -hmm. then although it's something you cannot control, it will put you in a low risk mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. One of the things you can choose is you can be choosing mm -hmm. whether you are around vaccinated friends. Mm -hmm. So when you are around family or friends, mm -hmm. you can make some choices about whether you are going to be around vaccinated people or you are not going to bother choosing at all. Mm -hmm. If you are making no choices, the choice of vaccinated friends and family is none, mm -hmm. then you are in a higher risk category. Mm -hmm. If you are just being around people in close proximity and you're making no choices about their vaccination status, 
-hmm. you may well be in a high risk category. If you're making some choices, let's say when you are around elderly grandma, mm -hmm. when you're around that person or somebody who has cancer or somebody who has very bad illnesses of other sorts, mm -hmm. then you are making some choices about whether you are around vaccinated people. You lower the overall risk to a middle risk. Mm -hmm. And if you choose that all of the people around you mm. are vaccinated, then you have put yourself in a low risk situation. Yeah. Something else you cannot control directly mm -hmm. is the amount of indoor ventilation. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if you are in a small room, mm -hmm. uh, especially in a house, mm -hmm. a small room in the house, and you are with other people for 15 minutes or more, mm -hmm. the ventilation is poor, you are all breathing the same air, and within just a few minutes, if any one of you is, uh, happens to be carrying the virus, mm -hmm. the air will likely become saturated with the virus, and you will not be able to get away with uh, away from the virus because in a small room with bad ventilation mm -hmm. very quickly the room becomes filled with virus if anybody has it. it is a small room yes and if we uh, stood in here talking watching TV whatever mm -hmm. and either one of us had the virus mm -hmm. because this is such a small room the air would very quickly become saturated with the virus mm -hmm. and anyone in here would be breathing in the virus. Mm -hmm. The uh, water droplets containing the virus mm -hmm. would be floating around all around us mm -hmm. and you would not be able to avoid breathing in the virus even if you are not talking directly at each other. Mm -hmm. Even if you were turned around, mm -hmm. and I'm talking this way, oh. and you're looking that way, yeah. it won't matter because the air itself is completely full of the virus yeah. in just 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. okay. You can see in this room that it is a much larger room. And in fact, if you look up at the ceiling fan, you can see it is turned on. Now you can see the two of us in the room. In addition to the fact that it is a large room with very high ceiling, we have the fan on, mm -hmm. and we are more than six feet apart. Yeah. So this puts us in a much lower risk situation mm -hmm. than a small room where we are very close together with poor ventilation. Mm 